Buenas tardes, mis amigos. Feliz Navidad. Welcome, my friends. Merry Christmas. We are Los Tres Reyes Magos. Maybe you know us better as the Three Wise Men or the Magi. We are here, hoy to tell you of our journey. A viaje that took muchos days and muchos nights. Un viaje por muchas tierras con solo una estrella para guiarnos. A star to guide us on a journey through many lands to a new beginning, a new life. Today, we ask you to join us on another journey, a journey through the holiday traditions of Mexico, the land of the Posada celebration. Posada is the palabra español for in. And it originates from the story of Mary and Joseph and their nine-day viaje from Nazareth to Bethlehem, seeking lodging from Posada to Posada. Ah, las posadas. Esta maravillosa celebración ma me mexicana comienza cada año el 16 de diciembre y continúa cada noche hasta la noche buena. During this wonderful celebration, each night, familias take turns hosting the evening. They form a procession a la luz de una vela as they go from casa to casa, reenacting the wanderings of Mary and Joseph. At first, the candlelight procession is turned away, but after identifying themselves, the door to the house is open and the procession enters. It's a splendid tradition filled with pageantry. The group then sets up El Nacimiento, the nativity scene, and proceeds with the oraciones de noche. And then, then the festivities begin! Todos se van al patio para disfrutar de música y baile y cada noche un despliegue de fuegos artificiales que ilumina el cielo. He obviously enjoys the after dinner dancing and the sky that is illuminated with fireworks. Now, uh, Las Posadas happens every night from December 16th to December 24th, Christmas Eve which is the most impressive celebration of them all. Ah, yes, on Christmas Eve, a small image of the Bebe Jesus is placed in the Nacimiento. Velas are lit around the altar as all rejoice in canción y oración. Yes, now after rejoicing in song and prayer, the families then go to midnight mass to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. Uh, the end of Las Posadas brings us to our next holiday celebration. Remember the star that guided us on our journey? Well, we, Los, Los Tres Reyes Magos, followed the Bethlehem star for 12 <laughs> days and nights until we found baby Jesus. Llegamos trayendo regalos de oro, incienso y mirra para el rey recién nacido. Today, that gift-giving tradition continues and is celebrated on January 6th. It is known as El Día de los Tres Reyes, or Three Kings Day. In anticipation of our arrival... Ah, los niños dejan sus zapatos en el umbral. Ah, yes, of course. The children, they leave their shoes on the doorstep, hoping that we will leave them gifts as we pass silently through the night. If the children have been good, they will find wonderful toys and gifts stuffed in their shoes the next morning. ¿Y si los niños han sido malo? Well, Gaspar, the children have never been bad. <laughs> Con las posadas y el Día de los Tres Reyes, la celebración navideña es uno de los más festivas en todo México. The holiday season continues until February 2nd, when El Día de la Candelaria, the day of purification, is celebrated. On this day, all of the nacimientos are put away, and the celebration of Christmas officially ends. El espíritu de la Navidad se siente en el aire. Ah, Gaspar speaks of the spirit of la Navidad that fills the air in the homes of Mexico. Los hogares mexicanos son decoradas con linternas de papel de muchos colores. Yes, as the homes are decorated with colorful paper lanterns. Ramas de hoja perenne. Evergreens. Busco español. Spanish moss. Angeles. Angels. Palomas. Doves. Y por supuesto, las pascuas. Ah, la flor hermosa de la noche santa. The poncetia. Que son típicas de México. Oh, the beautiful flower of the holy night. A legend has it, long ago on Christmas Eve, a poor beggar boy went to church in great sadness because he had no gift for the holy child. As the story goes, the boy gathered branches of green leaves from a bush on the side of the dusty road and took them to the church. C. 
seen the gift of branches, all the other niños mocked him. What kind of regalo is that for a king? They asked. The poor boy felt ashamed and wanted to run and hide. Then all of a sudden, the miracle of miracles, dazzling red star-shaped flowers began to bloom on the branches right before their eyes. With pride, the boy entered the church with his gift, a gift of love, a gift of beauty, a gift from the heart. Since then, every year during Pascua de Navidad, poinsettias bloomed all over the Mexican countryside. Everyone is filled with the true Espiritu Festivo at the mere sight of the glorious Christmas flower. And it is this spirit that fills the holidays in Mexico. A candlelight procession, the sounds of children laughing as they open their gifts, and the sights of the season all coming together to make a magical Christmas celebration. Es un país rico en su gente y sus costumbres. Yes, a country rich in tradition and legend. So from <laughs> Los Reyes, Reyes Magos, Melchor, Gaspar, and I, Balthazar, we hope your holidays are filled with your own rich customs and traditions. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad.